Scouting was uh, pretty brutal. I would usually leave Vegas sometime around 8 o'clock. I'd have quite a long drive. will not usually get to the trailhead until 2, 3 in the morning. I'd go right into hiking, hiking up there in the dark. No sleep is because limited time. I'll have Saturday and Sunday to scout. And it's a long ways in there. So I utilize hiking in the dark when it's cooler. You can get all the way in there, get set up by first light. And then I finally found the honey hole of uh, six quality bucks. You know, it was still a month before the season. I still had a lot of growing to do, but just found, you know, two, three in particular that were really, uh, you know, up and coming deer that were gonna be ones I wanna try to target. We go up that way for quite a while and then ar around those peaks. I'm bringing all these analogies just for extra storage for us at camp, you know? It's really cool scenery once we pop over this ridge in front of us. High elevation, it uh, kind of can cause you, you know, to be fatigued really, really easily. I mean, it's we're up above 10,000 feet. You can get elevation sickness, and every time I've been up there so far, it has rained. Um, I think that's pretty rare for Nevada. Gonna turn it'll render about what? Four gallons? Five gallons? I hope, yeah. Wonder what all the less fortunate people in the world are doing tonight. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I don't know if this is a, he's not in there, is he? Yeah, he's down to the right. I see him now. I think that's him. I don't like the thought of you going with the thermals dropping yeah. and the prevailing wind pushing. I think, I think everything's going to blow out. Yeah. We're stuck. Right I don't want to hold you up. I feel like I'm being too, I don't know. No, I'd rather. I, I believe in trying to strive for the perfect stock. Yeah. But. Bucks are bedded in a tree out here. And some shades. I had to go all the way around this big cleft down this ridge. Come back around. There's a little saddle on the rocks I can try to shoot down, but 
I have to put my wool socks on and try not to knock any rocks down because it's straight cliff. But it should take me an hour and a half maybe to go over there and I'll probably have a 50, 60 yard shot. It's gonna be fun. If he can get down that scary slope and the buck is facing our way, it's gonna be a perfect shot. It's gonna be perfect. But I'm just worried about that slope. I mean, that looks, that looks brutal. I mean, anything more steep than that, you gotta have ropes. He's dropping in. He's making good time. Yep. It's gonna happen. Which one's you shooting? One's asleep and all the others are alert. Okay, shot again. I saw an arrow ricochet off the rocks. He's not hit. He didn't want to hit him on the first shot, did No, I wanted to. I want a double stock. I wanted more of a story. <laughs> yeah. You'd have just got. You'd have got cocky. I would have. Yeah. This is like, oh, this mountain stuff. This is easy. We could all be eating pizza and Mexican food by tomorrow night. Yeah. Know. Order on a sat phone right now. <laughs> celebrating. No, I want. I want to struggle. Yeah. I'm gonna work at this. Siesta time? Siesta time. Time to avoid the rain. You got scared getting caught in that tree, didn't you, buddy? Come here. You're fine, buddy. Hey, you're fine. I'm right here, you're fine. I'm not coming in here, just lay down out there, bozo. You're fine. Last night we uh, faced a giant lightning storm that pretty much was hitting the mountains all around us. You could see the mountains behind us. And then we uh, watched it come over here and then we actually witnessed it three times throughout the night at 11 at 1 and then at like 5 in the morning and uh, yeah pretty lucky to make it through because it was all around the tents and then this morning woke up and it's socked in and foggy and it can't glass anywhere so we're just sitting around camp filtering water eating lots of food drinking coffee I brought sunscreen haven't used it at all and uh, as a, yeah, I was expecting to be sweating every day, and instead we are freezing cold and, yeah, struggling to get water. The whole entire basin is fogged over. we got to get some sunlight. Sunlight's going to burn it off. But. Yeah, we, we've been lacking sunlight the whole week, so I'm not really banking on that right now. I don't know what else can clear this thing off. No more visibility. Fog soup. Dang it. Okay. Keep it right there. I'm gonna go down through the whip through the willows and then before, not, not go all the way through them but where the rock is and then come down over to the right so I have to go that way around and drop down 
It's gonna be good right now. All these clouds are here. Ready? It'd be nice if I could tell where the deer are at, but I can't see right now because the clouds. I'm just keep my fingers crossed that the big buck's still laying in his bed. Can't see Brady, can't see the deer. Just look out forward and see the wildest scene you've ever seen. Yeah, it's been close to an hour since we lose visual and can't even watch Brady do his thing. Can't help him in any way. It's horrible. Still laying in right positions, I like it. And I don't know what. Did he, Did he hit it? Is he getting slower? His legs getting heavier? What's going on? He's falling down. He just killed the big buck. Oh, what an awesome turn of events. Incredible. Gosh. There's no other way to, to say it other than this buck is earned. Everybody in the group, I mean, we all earned it. It was just a lot of work. Brady made an excellent shot right there. The whole week we've been saying this was the hard way to kill a buck. And I fully think I did that. I, mean, I had a missed shot on this guy earlier and uh, I was fortunate to get him today in this very rugged, steep, cliff terrain. I mean, this is uh, their world and I'm trying to live in it. And yeah, I just feel really, really happy to get done. <laughs>